Back in the 1990s, Toyota's rally team ruled the world. After an 18-year absence, the team has returned in spectacular style. And under rally legend Tommy Mackinnon, stormed to a podium finish in their first event in Monte Carlo and took an incredible victory at round two in Sweden. Everybody is working hard and wants to approach uh, to the events with the 100% motivated and they want to see car doing good results. So I really enjoy the working with the team and, and also it's been really nice with Juho. We can discuss together about the stasis, the conditions, about the setup. So yeah, it's a really, really good teamwork. Tommy Mackinnon never drove for Toyota, but in the late 90s, the Finn was the star of the WRC with four straight world championship wins. For Lavala and teammate Juho Hanninen, the team boss provides a wealth of experience. I didn't know Tommy so well before I joined this project, but last year I saw that it helped so much, you know, when he knows what is important for making the good result, important to make car fast, the good feeling with the cars, really, really good as a team boss, really good. I think there's a lot of benefits about it, like in Monte, he said to me, just drive according to your feeling, you don't need to take pressure from the results. And he could feel how it's to be the driver. He could imagine what you feel. He knows and he understands what is the pressure, what is the feeling, what you need to, to win the event. In charge of the Toyota Gazoo racing project from the start, Mackinnon oversaw the development of the 1.6 litre Yaris WRC and brought the car from drawing board to the stages in under a year. We know that it's, we are very beginning and it's still a lot to do and we can we can keep improving, but generally we have put a big effort to our test program and we keep continue improving the car. The car has been designed to the new 2017 uh, regulations which um, allows a lot more freedom in the bodywork of the car. So the cars are wider compared to previous ones, which gives us a lot of areas where we can make a, a difference with the aerodynamics. We've got a bigger restrictor on the engine, so the, the horsepower's gone up. So we've got about 80 more horsepower approximately. We've now got um, an active center differential, which is a really powerful tool for tuning the handling characteristics from event to event, day to day, and also for the individual uh, needs of the drivers as well. The stylish red and white livery of the Yaris brings back memories of the team's past successes. When Toyota's Group B Celica and Corolla dominated the stages, and it's a history not lost on the team's number one driver. I remember this called Toyota Celica's ST185, ST205, and then the Corolla WSC. I actually have 205 WSC Corolla, and I have ST165 back at home. I'm a big fan of rallying, especially Toyota rallying, because basically Toyota was part of the World Rally Championship. And it was a really hard time when Toyota pulled out and went to Formula One because there was so much. It was part of the championship. Mackinnon is keen to establish a spirit within the team reminiscent of those glory days and feels it could play a key role in making the latest chapter of Toyota's rallying story a successful one. I would like to see everybody with smiley face and that is the, that is the really which warms my... <laughs> My heart, it is so good to see and um, happy faces all over. That's the name of the game. There's a really nice spirit in the team. I feel like it's a, it's a fresh start for myself. I'm grateful that I'm here after 18 years myself, uh, that I, back when Toyota came back, I had the chance to be driver for their team.